bang bang pow, what I do is magic. I hop on the track and he get the spaz and rip and break the shit till he get the crack. And all hell breaks loose when I get the packet. Got flows all day, you can check my notes. No interruptions when I'm in my zone. You hate what is real, but you'll never know how real I get when I'm in control. Nah, nah. Damn, it's back to the basics. Remember when I would be rapping in basements? Yeah, and I skip bases. This be the shit that I do on a basis. Look, don't care about the placement. I could care less about me being famous. Hey, I do this myself and they all getting mad because I don't know their faces. They want a feature and I want to check. Give me a brick in the back of my neck. I need my girl to be whipping a vet and my ex to be bitter and live with regrets. I hit the bank with a smirk on my face and they getting mad because I'm getting respect. So watch how I do it. My ethic is perfect. I'm working and earning that be how I flex. Shout out the people that told me I wouldn't. They all are the reason I'm still making music. They tell me they hate when I step on the edge But when I back up, they just try to abuse me It's so unamusing And this is my void in a world full of hate But the shit ain't confusing Look, I don't really got a time for y'all I promise you I'm not the type to fall You're the type to go and drop the ball And I'm the type to go and wreck them all I mean to brag, but I'm too impatient My old songs sound like your latest In two years, tell me who's the greatest I've been on the move, ain't no time for waiting I've been on a new wave, making plans right now Say my name, damn, that's another man down Everyone around, I want a man right now Gotta stand right now for the fan right now We're sudden and done, so now you know me I do this all by my lonely They used to hate me and now they owe me It's Cam Michael, one and only Yeah, I built my legacy with no one Up at night and my stack I can show them up. Yeah, I built my legacy with no one Me, myself, and I, fuck them, they ain't showing up. Yeah, I built my legacy with no one Up at night and my stack I can show them up. Self and I, fuck uh, I don't really got patience. Have you checked on my latest? Probably not, still sleeping on me. Man, I swear it's so basic. Euro trip making pesos. No sleep is how the pace goes. I just let the music take hold. When I drop a song, feel I make gold. Like, yeah, what you really want? Like, Show you who's king in the land for the pawns. True. Let the phone ring, I've been making these songs. Gonna stay with a hype. Now I'm never gonna pause. See you down for the cause, better hop on quick. Real so quick. one day, get the world on my dick. Yeah. So much more, don't care being rich. Want a real good life? My bomb ass bitch, don't need no hands. Doubts, I make mine. No Rolex, I make time. I come through, get dapped up, chill a little bit, then stay by. That's true shit. No one day I'll do this. Drawing up my own blueprint. I cut them off. Ain't dragging if you a nuisance. My schedule tight, better hurry. I already got no time for the worries. Wanna judge me, better stand with a jury. Cause I'm murder every beat till they all gonna scurry. And I'm on that now. Better know what's up, bitch. I ain't saying that double. Fourth quarter, I'm coming down and picking up with y'all fumble. Yeah. Yeah, I build my legacy with no. Stacked, I can show them up. Yeah, I built my legacy with no one. Me, myself, and I, fuck them, they ain't showing up. Yeah, I built my legacy with no one. Up at night, and my stacked, I can show them up. Yeah, I built my legacy with no one. Me, myself, and I, fuck them, they ain't showing up.
Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are tuned in to SMART. And how smart is SMART? Well, I'd say it's pretty smart because I think you guys got the news from Kareem yesterday that we had, what was the news yesterday? Was it over 100, 100,000 subscribers? Is that possible? Is that crazy? Is that smart? It might be a little bit smart. So, good morning. How are you? Hope you're well. I want to show you guys a little something. I think you saw it yesterday for anyone who was checking us out. And hello for whoever's new. Hello, Akeem. It's free, baby. It's all free. It's all for you and it's all free. Let's do some shout outs first to my people. My people are in the place. Hello, Lolly Lolly. How are you? Edgar, what's up, brother? Judith, wonderful Judith. Everybody's wonderful. Did I have my coffee? So you guys know me pretty well. I'm already caffeinated, so whenever you see me in a good mood, that means I've been guzzling. There's your new word of the day, guzzling coffee all day. I'm aces. I'm good. Akeem says, I want access to Sean, <laughs> and I will pay for it, whatever it takes. I will give me an offer. Akeem, tell me how much you are willing to pay for Sean's time. And I will go to Sean or text Sean. I just saw Sean, I'll be honest with you. I saw him. You know Sean? I saw him. So I will send him your offer. Give me a number. I'll present it to him. And I'll see what he says. He's a very valuable man around here. You know, his time is, is like gold. So I hope you have gold. Uh, hello, everybody else. Who else is in this chat here? Gertrudis is here. Hello, Gertrudis. How are you? Clinera is back. What's up, Clinera? Borka is back. What's up, Borka? Oh, I'm like, lots of high fives. I'm giving you a long distance high five. Mm -hmm. Who else is in here? Hello, Long. Long's back. What's up? How you doing? Suresh. Hello, Suresh. Costas. Hello. The lesson is starting now, Costas. So I hope you're still with us. Nady. Hello from Parana. My Parana students are here. Awesome. Love it. So here's what I want to show you guys. Hello, Leticia. How are you? JB's in the house. What's up, JB? I should pay. Uh, we should offer to pay for Sean's kids' education and entertainment. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You could do that. We could start a, 
I don't know, we love Sean fund and we can just funnel money, we can just, you know, embezzle money into it and just for, for Sean's benefit because we all love Sean. Is that a green screen? No, it's a purple screen, JCS. Uh, we, we like purple. So purple is cool. We like to switch it up, keep you thinking, you know what I mean? So $200 a month. All right, Akeem, I will, I will send that information to Sean and we'll see if that's enough because it's Sean, right? Who doesn't love Sean? Hello, Vinny. I'm going to call you Vinny. What's up? Mohammed? hey, everybody. All right, everybody else in the chat. We're ready. So I think you guys saw this yesterday. How many people were doing were with Kareem for his chat yesterday? I thought this was pretty cool. And you probably saw this already. Well, it's a paper. This is a piece of paper. And it says, basically, I know you can't see it because there's a lot of light. Let me do that. Now you can read it, right? It basically says that uh, this channel has been has subscribed. Uh, 100,000 people have Boop, subscribe to Smart, to our YouTube channel. So mostly, I, I believe Sean is responsible for that. I was talking to him earlier, and he said that his subscriptions were nine, uh, 95,000. So that leaves the rest of us to you know divide up how much we got. But uh, that's pretty cool, no? 100,000 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. That's an achievement. We're smart because of you guys. We're, we're doing a good, I think we're doing a good job. Uh, but you guys are the ones who make it popular. So thank you guys very much for helping us get to 100,000 uh, subscribers. That's pretty awesome. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Recommend it to all your friends because now we're, we're, we got some credentials. We got, a, we got a piece of paper that says we have 100,000 subscribers. So tell your friends about us. Bring them in here. Tell them to join. Hello, Eunice. What's up? Tell them to join us. Uh, bring more people for the party. You know what I mean? And we learn English together. It's a wonderful thing. Okay. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you very much. Maria, hello. Smart live team. We love you so much. And right back at you, Maria. We love you too. All right. So here's what we're going to do today. The topic of the day is celebrities. So let's, let's get you warmed up with celebrities. And before I do that, uh, let me throw up this because, no, not that, this one. Smart. So let me do the, the daily plug. I won't spend too much time. But if you want to connect with me, if you want to connect with Kareem, Sean's harder to get to. You got to pay the big money to talk to Sean. Okay. But me and Kareem are free. That's the good news. If you want to chat with us, chat with other people who are in this chat, get the Discord app. Here it is. Uh, I will give you Kareem's address first so you can have a chat with Kareem. And this will connect you to the Smart website. So this is for Mr. Kareem. Uh, if you want to check out the people who are there. And again, it's a good way for you guys to keep in touch with each other as well. And this is mine as well. And then we also have the General Smart. So check it out. Uh, this way you guys can keep in touch as well. Chat with us, chat with each other. Good app for that. And the other thing is, of course, check it out. It's right over there. No, it's over here. It's over right there, right where my finger is disappearing. 112,000 subscribers. Boom. Killing it. Killing it. So that's awesome. The signal's awful. I'm sorry, Leticia. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your bad signal. Uh, I don't answer on the website, Eunice, because I didn't have it on my phone. It's on my phone now. I'm paying attention to the Discord. I am answering on the website. Just sometimes I'm kind of off doing something. But it's now on my phone. I'm in touch with you. I will get in touch. I will answer all your all your questions or just chat with you. Maybe you maybe you need a long distance hug. I'm there. I'm emotional shoulder to rest on. Okay, Francisco, thank you very much. Dottie, hello, how are you doing? Welcome, come on in, and let's let's get started with the real business of the day, and this business is celebrities. So we're going to be talking about celebrities today. So let's warm up, okay? But uh, a little bit. Why should we join in Discord? Cause because it's a good chance for you to chat with each other, meet some friends on the chat, chat with me, chat with Kareem. We're all on Discord. Everyone's doing it. You should be doing it too. That's why. Gabriel, yeah, Brazil, yeah. Are you from Brazil? Cool, yeah, come on in. What's my name? My name is Kent, K-E-N-T. Uh, and then I'm here every Thursday. And Mr. Kareem, Kareem the Dream, we like to call him now, is here every Wednesday. So come check us out. Come more often. It's a good time. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start you off with a question of the day. It's not about celebrities, but the question of the day is... Do you have Mother's Day in your culture? Because Mother's Day for us, for Canada, is coming up on Sunday. 
So the question is, if yes, what do you do for your mother on this day? Okay, so two-part question. Uh, this is your question of the day. I know you guys, yes, I am a Canadian Francisco. I am. But, I'm, uh, but I have a very good Brazilian accent as well. Parana, there we go. All right, so this is your question of the day. Do you have Mother's Day in your culture? And if yes, what do you do for your mother on Mother's Day? Do you do the flowers? Do you go visit? Do you cook for your mom? Do you take your mom out? What do you do? And tell us, do you have this day in your culture? Because we have it in Canada. It's every May. So what do you, yeah, okay, sorry, Judith. Judith knows when I'm forgetting to do something. She's my helpful reminder. The link is here. And for you guys who are new to the chat, I'm giving you a link, and the link will give you access to everything that we're learning today, especially new vocabulary. Whenever we learn some new vocab, we like to write it down so you guys can take it home later. So take a copy of that link, open it up in Google Docs, and you will be able to take everything home that we're learning about today. Okay, so let's get back to that. So tell me, tell me the answer to this. Do you have Mother's Day in your culture, and what kind of things do you like to do? For your mother on Mother's Day. So give us some answers. What do you think? What's uh, what's a good Mother's Day activity? Um, my mother's birthday is right before Mother's Day, so I always know always know when it's coming up. Uh, so what do you, we do have Mother's Day? Okay, so tell me about that, Costas. You live in Greece, and we do have Mother's Day. So what do you do on that day? Give me your thoughts, guys. Mother's Day. You know your mother, right? Oh, very nice, Manal. So it's Mother's Day. Mother gets every day. It's a great day for her. Lale Lale says, I take my mother to the best restaurant in my country. Uh, just change that mother to the best restaurant in my country. Very nice. Good idea. Mom will like that. Mom's always happy to get whatever, right? Uh, Edgar says, I will call my ma'am, my ma'am, my mom, uh, and wish her my best since she is living in Brazil and I'm in the USA. Okay, there you go. A little Skype chat just to say what's up, mom. And be jealous of your mom because she lives in Brazil and probably somewhere on a beach, right? Because all you Brazilians live on a beach somewhere, right? I think so, anyway. That's the way I think about Brazil. Anybody else? Tell me. Tell me, what do you do? How about me? What do I do for my mom on Mother's Day? Well, let's see. You know, I live in Vancouver, which is a little bit far from where my parents live, so. It's not always easy, so maybe maybe a phone call, or sometimes I send stuff. Sometimes I surprise my mom with something. I'll buy her a little gift. Um, you know, never really flowers, but something usually like something, some kind of clothes or something. Try to help my mom look a little bit cooler. That's what I try to do. So I usually send her something small like that. Uh, and sometimes, you know, she doesn't. You know, my parents are just like, oh, we don't want anything. So what do you get someone who doesn't want anything? You, it's hard to, to you just give them, give them your love, send them a, give them a chat and have a good, I don't know, good talk. I don't know. It's pretty easy to please my parents these days. There you go. Look at, there you go, Lolly. Give my mother two kisses, only two, not three. Uh, Gertruda says, last Sunday we had, uh, we have the last Sunday. On the last Sunday in May, we have Mother's Day. We used to stay with her and, of course, give her all our love that we can. Great idea. Very nice. Give her a gift, Dottie says. Also awesome. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, you too, Eunice. Happy Mother's Day to you. Uh, Mom Day, Dad Day, and any day you want. Yeah, exactly. Sure. We also have a Father's Day. My father's pretty easy. Uh, he gets rum or whiskey. And we have this understanding. So when it's my birthday, I get the same thing. We're both happy. It's pretty easy to please us. Hello, Sarah. Come on in. All right, so let's jump from this. We're going to talk about celebrities today. Great idea, Dottie. Cake is good. Everybody likes cake. Yeah, okay. And Judith, we have Mother's Day, but it is always the first Sunday of May. We buy a gift and give our apparitions. I don't know if apparitions is the right word for in English. Uh, uh, for her unconditional love. So we give her something. I'm not sure if apparitions is the right, right word in English. But it, good idea. There you go. Flattery. Flattery is always a good idea. JB, what's going on? Kanye West, Donald Trump? Okay, what's going on with that? Appreciation, maybe? No, definitely. JCS, definitely. That's your mother. If you if you didn't have your mother, you wouldn't be here. So you better appreciate big time, right, on Mother's Day. Okay, so now switch. We're going to switch the topic, and we're going to jump into celebrities. So in order to do, do that, we're going to go to the Smart homepage. Smart, smart, smart. 
I'm gonna go to the library. So if you guys have Smart, you can join us with that. If you don't have Smart, that's cool. I'm gonna put everything on the document so you don't need the Smart. You can just follow along with me. Go to English 120, and we're gonna scroll down to Celebrities. And this is what we'll talk about today. So we're gonna start with this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in and we're gonna look at different celebrities, and I'm gonna actually get you guys to do a little bit of research on these celebrities. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to learn about one celebrity, we're going to take a few notes, and we're going to, this is going to be our stepping point. We're going to jump into some other discussions uh, about celebrities as well, and I'm going to get you guys to do a little research on your favorite celebrity at the same time. So here's what we're going to do. I've decided that Shakira is going to be the celebrity we check out today. Uh, oh, stop it, Edgar. I already love you, buddy. Don't have to do that. Shakira is the one we're going to check out today. We're going to do a mini biography. And what you guys are going to do, you're going to watch the video. You're going to take some notes. Take some notes. And you're going to write down any new vocabulary you learn from the video. Because we're going to learn a little bit about Shakira and, uh, and her background. And, you know, a little bit about her story. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to disappear. I'm going to take some notes while you guys are watching this. Take some notes as well. Uh, we're going to learn about Shakira, and then we're going to branch out, and we're going to go learn about some celebrity that we're interested in, and take a lot of vocabulary away from it as well. There we go. Somebody loves Shakira. Holler at Shakira. Let's get the ball rolling, Costas. Here we go. I'm going to stop talking and disappear. We're going to watch this. I would like you guys to write down some notes, new vocabulary in particular. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about it, and then we're going to send you off again. Here we go. I'm going to disappear. Let's check this out. Shakira is the very definition of a crossover success story. As the best-selling Colombian artist and one of the most successful Latin female singers of all time, Shakira has sold more than 70 million albums worldwide. Shakira is very unique. Although she is Colombian, her parents are Lebanese, so she adds a little bit of the Arabic feel and the Arabic music into her sound. Born in Barranquilla, Colombia on February 2, 1977, Sexy superstar Shakira hit the top of the Billboard Latin charts in 1998 and mesmerized the world with her dancing. Nobody can belly dance like Shakira. Nobody can move like Shakira. And I think that's one of the things that definitely differentiates her as a pop star. Her first breakout single, Whenever, Wherever, introduced the U.S. to Shakira's trademark blend of Arabic, Latin, and rock music and became the best-selling single of 2002. What makes Shakira different than a lot of other artists is that she always maintains a lot of creative control in her music. She really built her reputation on being a really strong music writer, both lyrics and music. In 2006, Shakira's collaboration with rapper Wycliffe John created the mega-hit Hips Don't Lie, which topped the charts in more than 25 countries and broke the record for the most U.S. radio plays in one week. I love Shakira as a singer and performer. I've watched her perform live, I've listened to her albums, and I just think she's very charismatic. Shakira's electrifying sound has earned her favorite Latin artist at the American Music Awards in 2012, two Grammys, six Billboard Music Awards, and her own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. We don't have enough Shakiras in pop music. We need more really strong female icons, and Shakira's definitely one of them. In January of 2013, Shakira and soccer player Gerard Peake welcomed their first child. That same year, Shakira became a judge on the NBC competition show, The Voice. Okay guys, so I know you didn't catch that all of it because uh, it didn't have captions on it, didn't have subtitles. But that's okay, so what I'm gonna do, my job is to present a few words to you, and you're gonna have to explain to me what they mean. We're gonna put them on the document here, and then I'm gonna take you to a website. You guys are gonna do the same thing. You're gonna research a few celebrities, and you're gonna come back, we're gonna share it, and you're gonna introduce a little information about the celebrity. So the first word that I caught, so I basically wrote down a lot of the new difficult words. Uh, so what did we learn about Shakira? Her parents were, uh, Colombian, Lebanese, this kind of thing, right? Uh, she had a Lebanese background and that's why she did the belly dancing. Uh, she grew up in Colombia in Barranquilla, something like this. I think this is the correct name. Yes, and she's hot. Yeah, we know that. We know she's hot. Uh, I want to give you a couple combinations of, wor of words. Uh, hit the top of the charts. 
Okay, so this is something we use, of course, to talk about famous singers. Hit the top of the charts, Michael Jackson, Shakira, some album hits the top of the charts, so it gets to the, you know, the highest point, number one, number two, number three, this kind of thing. Uh, so basically, what does it mean? It means to become, uh, to reach the highest level, to reach the highest uh, in music charts, highest point. In s we can say in sales, because that's really what it's about, right? So hit the top of the charts means reach the highest points in sales. A chart topper, you could also say that. And that's the other thing. Some people are going to, in this chat, they're going to give you some other ways to say some things. So f feel free to write down other things as well. I'll probably add some of those as well. Uh, a chart topper, you could also say that. Thank you, JB. All right, and if you're wondering what are these words that I'm writing down next to it, uh, if I write a C like this, it's basically a coll collocation. It's a combination of words. Chart topper would be a noun, so this tells you where you can use it in a sentence. Same idea here, right there. A couple other words that came up. Another one was mesmerize. And if you, what does mesmerize mean? I'll make that a little bit bigger. Mes, how do we spell mesmerize? Mesmerize. There we go. All right, so here's a new word for you. Mesmerize. What does it mean? Uh, I think she said they said something about her music was mesmerizing or maybe her personality was mesmerizing. What does it mean if something is mesmerizing? New word for you there. Does she sing in English or Spanish? Uh, I believe both. I think she's more of a... Sp oh, good question. Where's Pilar? Pilar's from Colombia, right? Where is she? She's not in this chat today. I don't know, Rodrigo, but I, I think both. I think the answer is both because I've heard her do both. Yeah, Edgar says both. There we go. Mesmerize means you can't forget. Okay, yeah, kind of. That's another way to say mesmerize. You were, I was mesmerized by the performance. I was mesmerized by the magician. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there we go. Makeup, is that makeup, Eunice? I don't know anything about makeup. I'm guessing it's makeup. Okay, so mesmerize. If I say he was, she was mesmerized by the magician, magician, what would that mean as well? So that would be... Um, you might have to Google this word. It's kind of hard to explain. In a hypnotic, hmm, not bad, state of mind. I think that it means to have someone's attention. Yeah, it does. Uh, people, you can think of it as really fascinating, really interesting. People are mesmerized. They're like, oh my god, you know, when they watch Shakira, that could happen, right? Okay, persuaded a little bit. Yeah, Akeem, you got it as well. So it's just kind of like mesmerized. You're, you're fast. Think of fascinated. You are mesmerized by something. I was fascinated with the performance. Both of those would be good as well. Uh, another one that came up was breakout single. Uh, so this is a, a noun as well. So breakout. What is a breakout in this situation? So breakout, you can break out of jail. You can break out of other places as well probably you can break into a lot more places a breakout single would be uh, so a single is song so a song which made this person extremely popular a breakout single good example there okay good and throw only one song okay good so breakout single that song that made some made someone super popular like what was Michael Jackson's breakout single or what was Shakira's breakout single, or Beyonce's. Maybe they had one song which just shot them to the, tar to the top of the charts. That would be good. Uh, another one, collaboration is another word that came up. What does collaboration mean? And when would we use it? What does it mean? So they talked about her doing some collaborations. What does that mean? Peak, yeah, exactly. Akeem with breakout single. But what about collaboration? The next one here. She collaborated with different people. What does it mean? Collaborate. Thank you, JB. To work with someone, work together as a group. Very nice. Yes. To work with someone, partnership. All of those are good. Correct. Collaboration is to work with others. Maybe one person or maybe other people. All of those. Very nice. And I got two more for you here. Oh, maybe three more. Charismatic. Here's a new word. So this is an adjective we use to describe people. 
What is charismatic? It's kind of a difficult one to explain. Uh, what do we got here? Richard says featuring collaboration. Uh, if, if, if you're talking about collaboration, Gertrudis, it's, it's like when you work together, you collaborate with other people. So a collaboration is people working together. It's just the, the noun way of saying it. Rodrigo, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are charismatic. I can just feel it, you know, through the stream here, the, your charisma just flowing. Uh, what else we got here? Charismatic, friendly. Okay, Borger's on the last one. Okay, has style. Yeah, I think those all work. Attract attention. That's a good one, Lolly. I like that. Charismatic. Able to attract attention. Like if you think of who's a charismatic person in the world, it's not probably your your yours truly, Mr. Donald Trump, but like Obama. Do you guys know Obama? Yeah, charming, kind of charismatic. We usually use those things together. You know Obama? I feel like he's kind of charismatic. You listen to him speak, he's a good speaker. You know, he's got a good body language, seems like a, he's got a funny personality, he's charismatic. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I say that a lot. I hope you do. Uh, strong personality? Not necessarily strong. Let me, let me, Bill Clinton, Akeem, that's not exactly what I was thinking. So, you know, if you're president, you probably have to be charismatic. Maybe uh, Justin, Justin Trudeau. You know Justin Trudeau? I'll show you a picture of Justin Trudeau. Charismatic. Here we go. This is better. Ask Google. When in doubt. Uh, ask Google. Showing, oh, let me make that bigger. So this one says, showing charm, charming, right? Showing charm that inspires devotion to others. So you have so much charm, right? And you give so much charm that people want to follow you. People want to listen to you. That's charisma. Uh, so charming, fascinating, strong in character, all of those. So when you guys are looking for this, and if I give you a word, Google that. Google that. GTS. Google it because Google will also help you. And the good thing about Google is it gives you lots of other options. You can hit boom, and it'll go all here. And you can kind of get a good range of words in English that'll help you to understand that word. Because maybe you don't know charismatic, but you do know the word charming, and you do know the word fascinating. So Google it. It's good for you. All right. Could be attractive. It's not focused on attractive, Edgar, but you know what I mean? It's more about charming. Because charming could be your voice. It's not only your appearance. And attractive is only your appearance, usually. Okay, uh, Clanier, something that catches your eye because of a good vibe. Could have some good vibes. Eunice says, who is Sean? Okay, oh, you don't know Sean, Eunice? Yeah, ask her Trudeau. She knows who Sean is. Uh, Trump is charismatic, but not in a good way. Who is? But the question is, is Trump charming? And I think, let's look at Trump. Let's look at Donald Trump, and let's see. Do you think that this man is charming? Let's take a look at his face, and let's see if his face is charming. Well, yeah, there he is. There he is. Is that a charming face? Look at that hair. Oh, my. There hair. What about, oh, yeah, he's, he's kind of got the, the, you know, it's like he's pretending to be charming. But we all know what he's really, like, look at this face. That's not charming. This is not charming. Doesn't really look charismatic either, does it? Yeah, I, I think so. He's not really charming. Now, let me show you our prime minister. Do you know who our prime minister is? Not our president. We have a prime minister in Canada. We, uh, we still have some, some small allegiance to the queen. We gave her a horse. She likes it. Uh, but this is Justin Trudeau. This is our prime minister of Canada. This guy's pretty charming. Look at that face, eh? Oh, what a nice guy. Handsome. Oh, look at that. Cool. He's a, he's a pretty good... Sp what, Edgar? You met Justin? No way. You're a liar. You met him? That's crazy. He's young. He is a young man. How old is he? I, th I don't know how old he is. I think he's like... <sighs> Google, talk to me. I need, some, I need some answers. How old is Justin Trudeau? 46 years old. That's pretty damn, pretty damn young. 46? <laughs> That's nothing. Right? Usually presidents are much older, like getting into 50s and 60s. But anyways, he's a, he's a pretty charismatic. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at them. They're hanging out together, having a good time. Justin and Donald. Trumpy. Very nice. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say Justin. Maybe he's handsome, but he's... Is he charismatic? Oh, I think he's better than, better than Trump is. He's got to be, right? My country's prime minister is 92. Jesus, JB, that's an old prime minister. I think I heard about that. I think I saw that in the news. Is that recent news, JB? That's 
I think, yeah, I heard that. Malaysia gets the oldest prime minister in the world. I, I remember seeing it. I didn't read about it, but maybe you can tell me more about it. Uh, Borka says, there's no translation of mesmerize in my dictionary. Is it a rare word? Uh, no, it's not really rare. Um, we use it for magicians, Borka. You know, if you had a magic and you know when you kind of like, that's, I guess that's not mesmerize, that's hypnotize when you do this, right? But it's kind of the same idea. You mesmerize someone, you're just like, oh, I was mesmerized. It's like you were focusing so much on someone because they were mesmerizing. So there you go. I'm going to get rid of this picture. I don't like this picture. I'm going to move that away. Okay, and the last word I wanted to give you from this charismatic. Uh, and again, you know, I'm giving you a few here, but remember, go check out Google. And Google will give you a lot of different new vocabulary that you can use and you can practice using in this chat or after as well. So use Google. Google is your friend, even though it's trying to take over the world. Electrify. Here's another word for you, electrifying. So what does that mean? So they said her music is electrifying, or she electrifies audiences, not physically, but mentally. What does it mean, electrifying? Uh, tell me that one there. Oh, Judah says a Sudan prince who will make big changes in politics is 32 years old. That's a young prince. That's a very young man. Uh, electrifying, make happy, give energy. Yes, thank you. Give energy. We'll just say, you know, honestly, it's just exciting. Very exciting. Easy way. Electrifying. Like uh, the performance. The, sh the concert was electrifying. Everybody had energy. Yes, Luciani, you got it. Exciting. Yes, Lolly Lolly. You guys know it. Awesome. All right. And the last word, actually, there is one more I want to give you a female icon, because this is a good word as well to describe Shakira. So this is your noun. Energizes, excites, thrills, all of those awesome. Yes. And last one, a female icon. What is an icon? And can they be female? Can they be male? Can they be on your computer? What is an icon? A person to look up to? Yes, exactly. A symbol? Yes. Yeah, and you know, some women like uh, Beyonce, everybody knows Beyonce. She's kind of like a, a female icon for strong women, you know what I mean? Like she empowers women. She gives other women power. So strong, strong person, female icon. Something, someone that everybody you know, sees and maybe knows and maybe loves, an icon. Michael Jackson, Beyonce, all these people, right? She, pres she presents women character. Yeah, she represents uh, a rock. She represents women, strong women, or something like that, I think, right? Same people who you want to follow them with symbols. Infamous. Infamous, Akeem. Oh, wait, sorry, not Akeem. Oh, it is Akeem. Infamous is uh, negative. It's famous in a bad way. So I don't think it's the, the same meaning. So inf famous is famous, and infamous is kind of like famous for a bad reason, like some criminal or something like that. Idol, yeah, that works as well. Kangaroo is the Aussie icon. How do you go? Are you in uh, Australia right now? How did you know that? It is. Oprah is a female icon. You are right. A good example, all female icons. So here's what we're going to do now. Now we're going to run in, and it's your turn to t tell us about a few celebrities. So let me set you up. Here's what you guys are going to do. I'm going to give you your task. And your task today is to, so, so what you're going to do is you're going to research. And what you're going to research is research, find information, which is research, find information on a famous celebrity you are interested in. And then what we can do is, I'm going to use go to the smart here. And here on smart, they, they have a couple celebrities here. And you can kind of click links. And the good thing is, uh, I'm going to show you a new link today, which I just found, which is called Simple English Wikipedia, which is a pretty cool website. So check this out. I'll put this for you. So this is Katy Perry, of course. Now there's a website here, and I'll just send you this one. And it's called simplewikipedia.org. So this, maybe you go, if you've ever been to, so I'm putting it in the, in the chat there, maybe you've been to Wikipedia before, but you're like, oh my god, there's so many new words, this is crazy, I'm out of here, time to learn French. But this one is easier to understand. So if you go to this Wikipedia, 
you can read the same, the same information as regular Wikipedia, but the information is easier, a little bit easier to understand for some people if you're, if you're having trouble with regular Wikipedia. So here you could read about Katy Perry, find us some facts. So what you can do, there's a bit of a presentation exercise here. So here's what you can do. Um, this Russell Brand, OK. I'm going to give you your own. I'm going to get you to find a few things about one celebrity. So number one, I want you to find, uh, let's say, three interesting, uh, three interesting facts about your celebrity. Number two, we'll put that as number two. Uh, Number one, come back. Tell us about, tell us briefly about the background history of one celebrity. And number three, introduce some new vocabulary to us about connected to your celebrity. OK, so this is your homework assignment. Let me throw this in the chat just so you got it. So number one, find a celebrity that you are interested in. That's number one. And I'm going to recommend that you use the website that I gave you there. I'll, I'll send it to you again. So number one, you're going to find some information on a famous celebrity who you are interested in. Bye, Eunice. But Eunice is going to bed. Everybody say goodbye to Eunice. She's got to go to bed. She's got to wake up early. OK? Bye, Eunice. Have a great night. See you next time. OK, so that's number one. Number two, Tell us briefly, shortly, about the background of your celebrity. So give us a little bit of information about your celebrity. Not too much, but you know, just tell us using your own words about your celebrity. Uh, three interesting facts about your celebrity. And he is electrifying, isn't he, Sarah? He's so cool. He's still got it. He's pretty old, right? All right, and number three, introduce some new vocabulary connected to your celebrity, OK? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search a celebrity, but I would also like you guys to search a celebrity as well. And I'm going to recommend that you go to this website. But actually, you can search any website you want. You go off, do your own thing, search any website you want about any celebrity. Uh, I'll give you, Elon Musk is a celebrity. Of course he is. He's, he's a famous man. He's developing some interesting technology. Cost us a demand that you go learn about Elon Musk, and then you come back and you tell us about it. So this is what you're going to do. Uh, here's some ideas. I mean, famous people, famous people from your country, politicians, uh, celebrities, singers, actors, um, religious people. Another idea. So you can search anyone you want. So if I look at this website, who did they choose? They chose Katy Perry was one of them. Who else did they do here? Let's see what Smart was looking at. Bruno Mars, great choice. Tell me about Bruno Mars. Tom Cruise, very nice. Scientologist, check that out. That's kind of interesting. Do you know anything about Scientology? I think you should Google Tom Cruise and Scientology. Uh -huh. Yeah, JB, you could tell us about <laughs> tell us about your 92-year-old prime minister. That's an interesting topic. I'd like to know more about him. Ronaldo, of course, is an interesting person to research as well. Who that? Brad Pitt, BP. Everybody loves BP. Who else we got here? Bieber. So Canadians, we don't really care about Bieber. We don't really like him. We're trying to give him away, but he won't go. You could research Bieber. I wouldn't hold it against you. Angelina Jolie. Everybody likes Angelina, right? She's so cool. Scarlett Johansson. Everybody likes her as well. Who that? Who is this? Who is Shakira? There he is. There she is. Awesome. Shakira. Perfect segue. And who is this? This is Charlize Theron. She's also a good actress as well. All right. So while you guys are doing that, I'm going to I'm going to choose my own celebrity. So you guys can go off, 
do those three things. Choose a celebrity, find out a little bit of information about their history. Number two, three interesting facts. And number four, slowly give us some new vocabulary. So what we'll do is we'll start with number one first. We're only going to do number one first. Tell us briefly about the background of the celebrity that you chose and we're going to talk about it. So we're just going to start with number one right now. Tell us briefly about the history or background of your celebrity. When you get your information, type it in here, throw it into here, and we can talk about it. We can also pull out the good vocab that you use to explain your person. All right, so I can see Edgar's already on it. Sherilyn Sarskison is a famous singer for more than 50 years. She's still doing shows and movies. Good. And this is something we use as well. So if I talk about this, we say do shows. You, you do movies, right? So some celebrities do shows and movies. And it's kind of, it means performing, but we can also say do. That works as well. Okay, uh, what else can we say about her? She will be at Mamma Mia 2, which will be released in July. Good word, released. And we usually say be released. Uh, so be released means uh, released. You know what I mean. Released. You release a movie. You release a video. Re you release an album. You, what's the word? What's the word I need? Release. It's not give. It's not a good word. How can I explain release? Release. Launch. <sighs> I, I give you another difficult word. You could also say launch or debut. You could also say those words, which are also verbs. So I hope you know what I mean. I hope you understand what I'm saying. You can say released, launched, or debuted. All of those can work. Very nice. Morgan Freeman. Luciani, I have a wonderful video about Morgan Freeman that you need to watch. And it's called Morgan Freeman Narrates His Own Life. Luciani, your personal homework is to watch that video. You will enjoy it. I promise. It's funny. Check it out. Long, Adele. Okay, so once you choose your celebrity, you need to research and you need to give me some information about the history or background of that person. Give, or just, you know, start with number one. Give me a little history about that person. Release, publish. Do we release homework? No, Borka, you do not release homework. <laughs> Companies release movies. Uh, singers release albums. So usually like a product, an uh, entertainment product, right? Like a CD, a movie, like Marvel released its new movie. Uh, Shakira released her new video or her new CD or her own line of makeup released, okay? So released is like usually for some kind of product we use release, a big, a big, big release. All right, yeah, thank you, JB. So whenever I'm in doubt, just look at JB, because he's always on it. Make a new product or service available to the public. That's a good explanation of release. Very nice. Maybe I should change that one. So I could leave that, be released, launch, or debut. All of those are good words. Mm -hmm. And what is that? I'm going to steal that, JB. Make a new service available to the public. There we go. Perfect. Good definition. Rocking and rolling. All right. So again, let's see. Lolly says Michael Jackson uh, was the best singer and the best dancer of all time. You might be right, Lolly. That, that could be the truest statement about Michael Jackson ever. Munira Ben Stiller, a comedian and screenwriter. OK, good word, screenwriter. What is a screenwriter? A person who writes movies. A screenwriter. We say the big screen. The big screen is movies, right? When you go to the movie theater, you want to see a movie on the big screen. So a screenwriter is someone who writes movies for, you know, showing movies. Screenwriter. So that's a noun. Very nice. Person who. Writes movies. Okay, cool. Uh, ben Stiller, comedian and scheme, scheme, screenwriter. Stiller revealed, and what is revealed? Showed. Stiller revealed that he had been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Ooh, serious, serious condition. Okay, so reveal. And again, you can see the context there. He reveal. Reveal something means show. 
another way to say show. Or mm, it's not it's kind of a show, right? Revealed information. Told us told a secret. Kind of told private information, that's the word. You reveal something, right? You tell. Okay, that's pretty serious, right? Ben Stiller is a comedian, funny guy. Uh, all right, Costas, here we go. Elon Musk, uh, s yeah, stemmed from, interesting. I don't, know, I don't know if I would use that word. It's, it's interesting, stemmed from South Africa. Comes from, originates from. Uh, I'll give you this one. I, I don't know if that one is right. Costas, it sounds a little weird for me. Stems from sounds like, um, like for diseases and stuff or just not for countries. So I'm gonna just give you another word, which is originate. From, which might be a new uh, another way you could say that idea, stems from South Africa. He is the CEO of Tesla, which is an electrical car producing company. Except, uh, except that I admire him for his determination. Good, uh, very nice. Okay, nice one. So there we go. A little bit about Elon Musk. He's a pretty interesting dude, right? He's developing the Tesla cars and the rockets into space. Pretty interesting stuff. Here we go. Next one. Whitney Houston became the first act, solo or group. Okay. Solo. Of course, everyone knows that. Go solo. I am solo. He is a solo artist. So I guess it's an adjective. And it means alone. Han Solo, the new movie is coming out, right? Uh, so Solo, group or act, male or female, to sell more than a million copies of an album within a single week period. Okay, that's a big fact, right? That's a big, that's a big record. She is also the most awarded. And you can think of awarded, good word. Awarded is kind of similar to celebrated, like people love this person. Uh, but actually, I'm sorry, no, not celebrated, no, awarded. She got, she got the most awards. So we could say she is the most awarded person. Received many received awards. That's basically it. It's just an adjective using the same idea. Her albums were diamond, multi-platinum, and platinum. Good, better, and the best kind of thing. All right, very nice. Long, Adele Atkins, who, who is a singer, a songwriter and singer. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Rodrigo, I need to watch more TV. I don't know any pop singers. Yeah, you do, Rodrigo. You need to watch some TV. Check it out. It's uh, it's cool. Some of it, right? All right. Next one. Let's. I think now we can jump into number two. So next, your second job was to give me some facts. Give me something cool about your celebrity. So let's jump into this one. Oh, Munira says Putin worked for the K. Yeah, we knew that. I think I knew that one. Putin worked for the KGB, the Soviet Union secret spy. So yeah, I think we all knew that one. Putin was, he's kind of a, he's a tough dude, right? He, um, interesting guy. All right, so number two, I want you to tell me some interesting facts. And you can Google that. You can go to Google and say, interesting facts about Michael Jackson. Interesting facts about Shakira. Interesting facts about the Dalai Lama. Whatever you want, I would just search that. Interesting facts about. So let me see. I want to. I want to get in on this. I want to do some homework as well. I want to find some interesting facts. Oh, maybe I'll just search Justin Trudeau. He's kind of a celebrity. Interesting facts about Justin Trudeau. No Bieber. Don't care about Bieber. All right. Fun facts. Global news. Hello. Tell me. Tell me the fun stuff. Some of them I know. I've heard a few. I'll try to find a fun one for you here. I'll throw this up a little bit bigger. No thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, so Justin is the, the first, going to be the, well, was the first prime minister to be born in Ottawa. Okay, that's not very fun. Some of the, I want fun facts. Uh, something fun, something fun. Maybe I shouldn't have chosen a prime minister. Maybe prime ministers aren't very fun. Yeah, I chose a bad topic, guys. All right, you tell me. You've probably got something more interesting. You tell me what you chose. Celebrities, I'll keep some celebrities up there for you. Tell me what you found. Interesting facts. Morgan Freeman is a beekeeper. That's interesting. Okay, that's cool. So he keeps bees and he takes care of bees. Well, that's nice. He does a lot of other stuff. That's cool. Uh, 
Judah says, okay, uh, info from Wikipedia, interesting facts about Shakira. She speaks multiple languages, I guess that, right? Does she speak Lebanese, JB? Does she also speak, because she speaks Spanish, she speaks English, of course. And maybe, what, two more, one or two more? Uh, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, simple Wikipedia, that's what it is. It's just an easier version of Wikipedia, which I thought is really useful. I can use that for my students a lot more. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Ilya says Muslim is a nickname for one of the most local, famous local rappers, R-A-P-P-E-R-S. He's the king of rap music, in my opinion. Who's the rapper, Ilyas? Who's the rapper? Did you mention this person before? I don't know who the rapper is. Yeah? No? I don't know. Tell me who the rapper is, Ilyas, because you said Muslim. I don't know who Muslim is. Never heard of it before. Gertruda says Wangari Matai from Africa. She did the tree belt in her country, and she had a Nobel Prize. She won a Nobel Prize in 2008. The tree belt in her country. And Gertrudis, you're going to have to explain that to me. What, does it, what do you mean, the tree belt? She, she created, she planted a tree belt around the country or something like that? Is that what that means? Uh, okay, JB says she speaks Arabic, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Wow, okay, that's pretty impressive. Multilingual. Uh, Mejia. You feel it's cool. It's your first time here? Welcome, Asia. It is cool. It is cool. Everyone here is cool. We're all cool together. We're all hanging out, having fun, talking about celebrities. It's a great time, Asia. Join us. Uh, Muslim Moroccan one. Okay. Yeah, you guys are talking about someone I do not know. Costas has an electrifying fact. Tell us, Acostas. Elon Musk is that he has five sons. Electrifying. There we go. Uh, I'm interested in his rockets and that kind of stuff because he's, he's really he's kind of like at the forefront of technology, right? He's really trying to take us into the future, especially with electronic cars, electric cars and stuff like that, right? What else we got? Munira says, Jim Carrey, he has this amazing ability to contort his face. Word of the day, thank you very much, is contort. And it's kind of change your face. <laughs> this is not really about celebrities. But I will give you this word anyways, why not? Contort is like change your face. Should we find a contorted face on Google? Why not? Jim Carrey contorts. It's got to be there, right? Contorts face. That's Jim Carrey. You know he's Canadian? There we go. Yeah, he can change his face a lot, right? He always has these crazy expressions. I don't know if it's contortion, but he can definitely do some, some funny expressions, right? He's a crazy dude, I'll be honest. I heard some stories about him recently. There we go. <laughs> nice move. There we go. Cool. There we go. Jim Carrey. Crazy Canadian. Uh, what else we got here? Rodrigo says, try what? Try about first chair. I'm going to see. Here's some funny stuff. Try it about first chair from down under. Oh, I don't know <laughs> what that means. Uh, she planted Gertrudas. Okay, so she did plant. She planted a, a tree belt around uh, from Africa. Okay, very nice. So she planted trees around all of Africa. Nice one. Cool. Uh, JB says, interesting fact about Elon Musk. He was a know-it-all as a boy. What's a know-it-all? A know-it-all is a noun. It means it's a person who thinks, oh, I know everything, I know everything. Oh yeah, that's wrong, that's right, that's yes, that's no. A know-it-all. So if you are a know-it-all, it's kind of a bad thing. Uh, it says like, oh, I know everything. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it's like, I'm a know-it-all. You know everything and you think, oh, I know everything. And it's not true, you don't know everything. So don't be a know-it-all. It's not, it's not cool, but good word. All right, so he was a know-it-all as a boy, which provoked his classmates to beat up. Good word, provoke. Provoke is kind of like, oh, good, I, need, I think I need a Google explanation. Provoke definition. Stimulate to give a reaction, to cause a reaction, to create a reaction, easy way. And I'd say usually negative. Usually negative reaction. So you you know you provoke someone like you know when you're young and maybe some some kids they pick on another kid they provoke that kid they want that kid to do something 
and maybe the kid gets angry and he tries to hit them or he says something. So provoke is when you try to get a reaction from somebody and it's usually a bad kind of reaction as well. Hurrah! Angelina Jolie began acting at about 12 years old. She has adopted three children, and right? Adopt, you, you take for your own family. She had surgery after learning she had an 87% risk of getting breast cancer. Okay, there we go. Interesting fact. Muslim is originally from Morocco. Okay, so rapper from Morocco. Sounds cool. Uh, Ilyas, to be frank, I didn't find any source of information about him. That's okay, buddy. No problem. We forgive you. Interesting. This is a throwback person. A throwback. Remember this one? Uh, Dolph Lundgren. Do you guys remember? Let me show you Dolph Lundgren. He's definitely a throwback. Get out of here, Jim. Dolph Lundgren. That's him. There he is. Maybe you remember this guy. He was in the Rocky movies, right? This guy from the Rocky movies. The, always the evil, always an evil guy in the movies, right? Okay, interesting. So fact about Dolph Lundgren. He has a master's degree in chemical engineering. Interesting. And won a Fulbright scholarship to study at MIT. That is interesting. So he's a super smart dude. All right, very nice. Uh, Michael J, Michael J, Michael Jackson explored a variety of music genres, soul, pop, rock, disco, funk. Yeah, and you can hear that in his music too, right? Uh, Ilya says, Enya Patricia Brennan is an Irish singer, songwriter, musician, and producer. She began her music career when she joined her family's Celtic band uh, in 1980 on keyboards and backing vocals. Let me give you a new word there, uh, backup. So if you say backup singer, for example, or backup vocals, so this is the person, not the star, not the Beyonce, but the people behind Beyonce who also sing, those are the backup singers, like the extra, extra singers. So extra singers, uh, not star. Okay, very nice. This is interesting. I like these facts. Uh, Mustafir, Ilyas Muslim, is not really known, just Moroccans who know him, and not all of them as Moroccans. I've never heard one of his songs. Okay, maybe a little bit of specific genre this person's in, a spe specific nationality as well. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that one alone, JB. Uh, Munira, Eminem was so severely bullied. Good word. Severely strong, right? And bullied. Uh, bully is your verb, so I'll just put that as a adjective verb combo, adverb verb combo. Severely bully, so strongly bully. And bully is when the same idea as provoke. If you was one big kid and one small kid, and the big kid is kind of like teasing the other kid, oh, you're so stupid, oh, you're so dumb, da 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 da, right? That is bullying, and you can bully a person physically or online. You can also, there's on, online bullying these days, so don't be a bully. Uh, but bully is to, uh, how would you say? I need, a, I need another definition. Bully. Person who uses strength or power to harm or intimidate. Okay, that's a good one. For those who are weaker, especially someone who is weaker than you. You can't bully big people. You can only, you usually bully people who are smaller than you. That makes sense. Okay, so a person who uses strength or power to harm or intimidate a weaker person. There you go. So there's that word, bully. So Eminem was so bullied in high school that his mother sued the local school board for failing to sufficiently protect her child. Okay, so sue, when you take someone to court, right? You say, oh, you did this to me, I take you to court, I'll try to take your money from you. You sue somebody. Uh, choir, yeah, choir is different from backup singers. Gertrude's choir is like in a church. You have the group of people. There's no star, right? There's no one person who's the star. Well, sometimes there is, but we would call that group a choir because usually those people sing together, and usually they are all equal. They're not. There's not one star like Beyonce and then the extra singers. It's just everybody sings together. Choir. Uh, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, the Prime Minister of Australia disappeared while swimming near Portsea, Victoria on December 17th, 1967, but his body was never recovered. Uh, where was it? In Victoria. Victoria, Victoria, Australia. That's Adelaide, so Victoria must be in the north. So one thing you have to know about Australia is that 
it's a little bit dangerous, and depending on where you are in Australia, you can be eaten. Oh, okay, I don't know where he went. He probably just disappeared, because that's the South. But if you didn't know about Australia, if you're ever thinking about going to Australia, you have to be careful if you go to this area, not here, right, way up north here. Where is it? Darwin. This whole area at the top of Australia. There's actually crocodiles or alligators, I can't remember which one, in the water, in the cities. So you never want to go in certain areas, and I think there's also sharks in some areas of uh, Cairns over here. This is a very popular place to go in Australia, and they have sharks in some areas, so people don't go swimming in the ocean there, which is crazy. What's up, Ziad? How you doing, buddy? Come on in. Uh, but anyways, there we go. So be careful in Australia. That's the real lesson of this week. Uh, Sarah, Tom Cruise was raised in a devout, good word, devout, and you can think of that word as de devoted as well, so it's an adjective. Uh, so how can I explain devout, good word, uh -huh. having or showing deep religious commitment. So when you, have a, when you have a strong feeling about religion, you are a devout Christian or a devout Muslim or a devout uh, Jew. Can I use that word? Can I use Jew? I'm not sure. Hello, Fatima. I'm good. How are you? Mm, okay. So there you go. Devout. Good word. So Tom Cruise was raised in a devout Catholic household, and he initially, in the beginning, wanted to become a priest at age 14. But the lure, the attraction, good word, the lure of Hollywood, Nice word. Uh, so I guess it's a noun. Yeah, it's a noun. I mean, you can think of an attraction. The attraction of Hollywood would prove to be too strong. And thank goodness for that, right? Tom, where would we be without Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise, let's, let's get a Tom Cruise picture up just to honor this man and how good he is and how long he's been around. I think he's a little crazy, I'll be honest with you. Like I said, you got to Google the Scientology. I think he's a little older than that these days, but that's okay. All right, there we go. What else we got here? Let's do a couple more, and then I think we're going to wrap it up. Edgar says, when she was a teenager, Cher was arrested for stealing a car. She was watching a friend's car while he was running an errand. And when he took too long, she decided to take, take it to the drive-in theater. There we go. Okay, so Cher is a badass. Very nice. Good, good job, Cher. Uh, what else we got here? Ilya, Safia, yes. Uh -huh, okay, there's still that, that conversation. Judith has one. Uh, what, what do you got here? Um, Judith, Elon Musk's mother is a famous model who lives in Canada, and she is not young despite her age. She made her modeling job at this time. Okay. May Musk, picture in Vogue, 68 years old. Okay. So Elon Musk's, well, the famous mo Elon Musk's mother was a famous model who lived in Canada. That's interesting. There we go. Lolly, Michael, check your spelling, <laughs> Michael Jackson, Lolly, the king of music videos, transformed the music video into an art form. Are you talking about Michael J? Michael J. Jackson? Oh, sorry, Michael J. Michael Jackson, just Michael Jackson, into a promotional tool through complex something. Okay. There we go. All right, very, very nice, guys. There we go. That's the money shot. This is the money shot. Okay, the, the picture that has all the money. Isn't that, that's like the Maverick photo. You know Maverick, the whole Top Gun thing? There we go. I want to find, okay, sorry, before we go, I got to do this. I got to search Tom Cruise and Scientology. Facts. There's got to be something out here. Here we go. This is the goods right here. Let's find out. Ooh, I don't know if these are true. <laughs> I have no idea. But it says here, Tom Cruise exiled his niece from his family. Basically kicked out his niece from the family. I don't know if that's true. What does it say here? Uh-huh. One day, Lesavoy broke down crying, told her that her uncle had banished her from the family after being caught kissing a boy on Cruise's property. Oh, that's weird. Difficult fatherhood. Okay, what else? Amy, okay. Fallout with Nicole Kidman. I think we, I don't know anything about that. 
Attacking psychiatry with powers. Okay, let's see what he means here. Members of Scientology believe that psychiatrists control individuals through drugs. So Scientologists, this religion, they think that psychiatrists give drugs to people and control their brain, brainwashing. On an infamous appearance on the Today Show in 2005, Tom Cruise called Matt Lauer glib after Lauer asked questions about the merits of psychopharmacology. So basically, somebody asked him questions about drugs and psychiatry, and Tom Cruise said, hey, you're being silly or something, or you're being weird or saying something stupid. Cruise said that he had done extensive research, a lot of research, on chemical imbalances and treatments. So there you go. This is, uh, this is kind of funny stuff. So if you ever want to... If you want an interesting read, read about Scientology. Scientology is a created religion. Well, it's a religion It's a, that has its own set of beliefs. That's your homework. Check out Scientology. There's some interesting discussions about it. All right. My celebrity, uh, Costas, who would my celebrity be? Research. Who would I see research? You know, I always, I always give these to you guys, but I never do them myself. Who would be a celebrity that I'd be interested in? Um... I'll be honest, I like this guy because he's Canadian and he's a pretty interesting dude and a nice guy. I don't know if you know who this is. Maybe my Brazilians do. Georges St. Pierre. Who's the best in the world? Is it George St. Who was the best in the world? Was it Anderson Silva? Was it George St. Pierre? These are two guys who fight MMA. He's an interesting guy. I've heard lots of interviews from him before. He's just, it was, and he's a really nice guy. He's a good ambassador for the sport. Always polite, always well spoken. So I would, um, I would look up some facts about George St. Pierre, and what, let's see if there are any facts about him, anything we can say. Hard-hitting facts about GSP. So this was a great fighter. And is there anything I can find about him? Mm -hmm, there he is. There's the man right there. He looks like the Karate Kid, doesn't he? Uh, being Canadian, shows no, 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 wax on, wax off. Uh, anyways, that's my that's the one I so if you know anything about George St. Pierre you can check out some facts but uh, Russell Peters there you go there's another Canadian alright guys so that was it I think that's it for today uh, let me redirect you to all the cool things available here redirect you to our website please share this with your friends we have hit the 100,000 K points and then maybe maybe all thanks to Sean I don't know who knows uh, but we appreciate you guys hanging out with us Share it with your friends if they want to come hang out. We love having people from around the world. We appreciate you. So thank you very much for coming and hanging out with us. That's a Discord. Check that out. You can hang out in uh, my chat, Kareem's chat. Talk to people. Get in touch with people who you're meeting in the chat here, which is the best part, right? Hanging out with each other. And I think that's it for me for today. Um, say hi to your mother for me. It's Mother's Day. Give your mother a big hug. Uh, maybe your Mother's Day is coming up. I was going to look at that, actually, because the dates are probably different around the world. But if it is your Mother's Day, give your mother a big hug. Tell her you love her. Tell her thanks for making my life possible because she did that for you. Okay? And that's, all, that's it for this week. We will be back. Be, I'm losing it. Okay. Bye, everybody. See you next week where we'll get into some more smart English. Since day one, something's been missing, I, I know it's time to transition to a new kind of way, and let the passion come out, I'm a dreamer, dreamer, time slows down, when I am singing my, my heart's true song, comes when I'm dreaming, I know what it takes, I need my soul to scream out, I'm a dreamer, dreamer I need to choose, need to decide Time to stand up, jump to the other side One way to go, I won't know until I try
the dream is on I can't be shaken I, I know I'm strong power awaken I believe I'm great I let my passion come out I'm a dreamer dreamer my eyes will show some kind of worry bubble blue as rain a dream a story I'm face to face I need my soul to scream out I'm a dreamer dreamer I need to choose need to decide time to stand up jump to the other side one way to go